says the mean rate of violent crime for 24 states, that's at least for, for 100,000 people, was 406. So the mean is 406 crimes per 100,000 people, and the standard deviation is 177. Okay, and crime rates are approximately unimodal and symmetric. Okay, so again, this, the idea is that it's unimodal and symmetric. In the center, we have 406, and some states have much more crime than 406, and some states have much lower crime than 406, but 406 is the most, uh, around 406, around four, um, maybe a little bit over 450, 350 to 450, something around there, that's going to be the most common. A lot of states have crime rates around that. A couple states have much higher crime rates and a couple states have much fewer crime rates, but the further away from the center you get, the less you have. That's what it means to be unimodal and symmetric. Okay, And so here we can use the empirical rule. Whenever we have unimodal and symmetric distributions, this is just like heights. Most people are average, some people are tall, some people are short. But the further away from the center you get, the uh, less, uh, less common it becomes. Same thing with crime now. Crime most common is in the middle. Average crime is uh, the most common rate. High crime exists but is less common. Super low crime exists but is less common. Let fewer states have really low crime rates. Fewer states have really high crime rates. Okay. According to the empirical rule, about 95% of the observations are within two standard deviations above and below the mean. Okay, so where's two standard deviations above the mean? Okay, well the mean is 406. Each standard deviation is 177. And we're going to go two standard deviations above the mean. So I'm going to do 177. And we're going to go two standard deviations. So 2 times 177 above the mean. So I'm just 406 plus 177 times 2. If you have a fancy calculator like this, you can just enter the whole thing and you will get 760 because these calculators understand order of operations. If you don't have a calculator like this, you have to do the 177 times 2 first, and you get 354, and then you do 406, because order of operations, you do the multiplication first, and then you do the addition. So then if you do 354 plus 406, 406 plus 354, you get the same answer, 760. Okay, so some calculators, you can just punch them in straight away, and it's fine. So this is the... Um, the upper end, the high end, two standard deviations above the mean. And if we go two standard deviations below the mean, that's going to be 406 minus each standard deviation again is 177. And we're going to go down two standard deviations below the mean. So 406 minus 177 times 2 that takes me down to a crime rate of 52. That's the low low end, okay? And again, if you don't have a fancy calculator, you got to do the multiplication first, but you'll get the same answer, 52. All right, so we expect 95% of states to have crime rates between 52 and 760. That's what this represents. About 52, between 52 and 760, 95% of the states will have crime rates between these two numbers. About, about, okay? And part B says between what two values would you expect to find 68% of the crime rates? Okay, so that was part A. So part B, 68% are within one standard deviation, 
Okay, so one standard deviation below the mean okay, is just going to be 406 minus one standard deviation is 177. No multiplication there, so 406 minus 177, that gives me 229. And one standard deviation above is going to be 406 plus 177. Five eighty-three. So I expect uh, we expect uh, sixty-eight percent of states to have crime rates between uh, two twenty-nine and five eighty-three. All right. And says, if a Western state has a crime rate of 584, is this unusual? Is 584 unusual? Okay, 584 is just a tiny bit over one standard deviation away from the mean. Okay, so 68% are with between are between 229 and 583, 95% are between 52 and 760. Okay, 584 is right outside of this 68% um, range, okay? So that means, you know, about, if 68% are within one standard deviation, uh, then it means 32%, okay? Because if 68% are within one side, how much is on the outside? 32%, so about 32% are outside of that range. And so 584 is outside of 583, but that's not unusual. No, it is not unusual. Okay, it is just, it is barely one standard deviation, uh, barely over, I should say, one standard deviation above the mean. Okay, on the other hand, part D said, is a crime rate of 30 unusual? Okay, so here 95% of states have crime rates between 52 and 760. This crime rate is down at 30. Okay, so it's below, below 52. Okay, so that's beyond. So if 95% are between 52 and 760, how much is going to be outside of that? only about 5%. So 5%, about 5% have rain, um, crime rates outside of that range. So you know what, 30 is outside of that range. So 30, this state that has a crime rate of 30 is one of the few 5% of states outside of this range. So is 30 unusual? Yes. Okay, and um, this is no different than asking you know, um, if we said uh, the average height of men is five nine and a half, and the standard deviation is three, you know, is it unusual to see uh, a man who is six one? No, not that unusual. Okay, because that's that's barely one standard over one standard deviation above the mean. On the other hand, thirty uh, thirty is more than two standard deviations below the mean. So is it unusual to see a man who is shorter than 5'3"? Um, a little bit, a little bit, okay? Shorter than 5'3 uh, or 5'2"? I think this would be somewhere around there. A little bit, okay? Because we're more than two standard deviations below the mean. That's, uh, that's what this question is asking. And so for these, we, we look to see uh, how, how far away we are from the mean. And we're expecting 95% to be within two standard deviations and so when we're more than two standard deviations of, of away from the mean, uh, that seems to be unusual for us.